What up everybody, this is JJ Vell with Basis 718. Today I want to just go ahead and cover ghost notes, muted notes, whatever you want to call them. What I do to like practice muted notes, normally I just sit around and if I play something like What I normally do is I'll just replace the notes or just like So let's get into the exercise um, and uh, let's get warmed up on it. If you can master this with most of your playing, then ghost notes, muted notes, etc., etc., it's not going to become, a, it's not going to be a problem for you. My style is all based on them. <laughs> Man, I'm lost. So, this is a great starting point for you guys to get more acquainted with them. I haven't been able to put a lesson for a while traveling. We're going to be putting up lessons probably, you know, uh, maybe two, three times a week rather than every day because it's impossible. So again, let's go ahead and cover this. This is a muted exercise to help you get your muted or your ghost notes together. So let's get to it. JJ Vell, Basic 718 saying, I'm gone. So if you were sitting around and your riff was just something like You gotta do something like Anything you create you can just turn it into a muted exercise So if I had a riff that I practiced and I did something like
work on controlling the note and controlling the dynamic. How how soft, how loud. You know what I mean? These things apply to all of us when we're playing in an ensemble situation. Alright, so uh, again, sit down, practice your scales. If, if you want to go. JJ Val with bassist 718 saying